I'll be talking to you on principles of oxygen therapy. As you know, oxygen therapy is one of the most important treatment modality which is given to most of the patient who are admitted to the hospital. Unfortunately, this is the least understood modality. The one of the most important reason for this is that oxygen has not been appreciated as a drug. Like any other drug which has an indication, a route of administration, a dose, the oxygen therapy should also be given in proper indications. It should be given in a proper dose in terms of uh, FiO2 or liters per minute. It should also be given through a proper device, be it a high flow device, be it a low flow device. So in order to understand the, the, the important issues which are related to oxygen therapy, what I am going to do is to discuss with you various indications of oxygen therapy. It is important to know the type of respiratory failure you are dealing uh, because the indication of a device may be linked to a type of respiratory failure your patient is suffering from. You should also understand the pathophysiology of hypoxemia your patient has got. Then we will talk about goals of supplement oxygen therapy. What should be the endpoints when you are treating your patient with oxygen? You should have a very clear idea about oxygen delivery systems, the low flow and the high flow systems. And once you have chosen the right device, you have given the right dose, it is very important to monitor your patient on oxygen therapy. And it is important to ensure that your patient is not only adequately oxygenated, but there is a significant reduction in the cardiorespiratory work which is associated with hypoxemia. And you should also be aware of various complications which patient can have with oxygen therapy. Uh, these complications may be related with the FiO2 you are giving to the patient, but is also related with the duration of the treatment for which your patient is on therapy. So let us talk about the indications of oxygen therapy. The most common indication for oxygen therapy is respiratory failure and or if the patient has got hypoxemia, if the, if the blood PO2 levels are low. So hypoxemia with or without hypercapnia is the most important indication. We also give oxygen to our patients who have got...